Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making something that so many of you have just recently requested and it is for healthy Coke. Is there such a thing? Is Coke unhealthy? I would say in large quantities, anything is probably pretty unhealthy, but this claims to be healthy and it is made of two ingredients, sparkling water flavored, apparently any flavor and balsamic vinegar. My straw is rolling across. Okay. And I suspect as many, I'm sure you do as well, that this combination will not taste like Coke. I mean, just simply because it doesn't contain any sugar. And part of the pleasure, in my opinion, of Coke is that sugary sweetness balanced with all that flavory yumminess that is Coke and ice and carbonation. But, but, but it looks like Coke, right? It's brown and it's fizzy. So, so it could taste like Coke. I, I, highly skeptical, but I'm going to try and go into this with an open mind. I believe this was started by Amanda Jones on the Tiki Tiki Talks, and I'll put a link down below to their original video. And the story goes that this was introduced by a Pilates teacher that said it tastes like Oak, it's healthy, and Amanda swears to God that this tastes like Coke. What immediately set off my alarm bells in terms of the suspicion of whether this is going to taste like Coke or not was the fact that you could use any kind of flavored seltzer. Any kind will work, which I find very, very surprising because in my opinion, Coke has a very complex flavor and it doesn't taste like raspberry or grapefruit or any of those kinds of things or vinegar. Although, Coke is very acidic. You can clean pennies with it. So enough jibber jibber jibbering. Let's go ahead and make this. I'm going to fill our glass with some ice. To that, we're going to add a splash of balsamic vinegar, otherwise known in our house as balsac vinegar. Love the stuff, makes great salads, and it has a really dark caramely color. And we're going to add a splash of that. I would say that was about a teaspoon. No exact measures given in this recipe. Dry the grapefruit. I love seltzer, drink lots of it, but I prefer it plain. I, I know, very boring. So I don't really drink the flavored ones too often. This is supposed to be grapefruit. Mm, yeah, kind of citrusy, grapefruity essence. And we're just gonna pour that into our glass. Well, you look at that. It has the caramely dark color of Coke. Looks like Coke, but does it taste like Coke? Before I even taste this, my suspicion is it's going to taste a lot like a shrub. A shrub is a sparkling fizzy beverage that's made with vinegar. I think that's what this is going to taste like. I love that. I love kombucha. Love it. I used to make it myself. In fact, I have a video on this here YouTube. So I'll put a link down below to it where I show you how to make homemade kombucha. Love fermented drinks. Love acid. Love vinegary drinks. So here we go. Come by. It doesn't taste like Coke. Mm -mm. It doesn't taste like Coke. Having said that, it doesn't taste bad either. Definitely vinegary. Add a little bit more of that flavored seltzer. I don't mind the flavors of vinegar and the kind of like acidicness of the vinegar, but I don't necessarily want that just by itself. In fact, when I have kombucha, I love the ginger kombucha. That one's my hands down favorite. I feel like it takes the edge off the vinegar. I love the acidity, but I don't necessarily want the strong aroma that comes with vinegar. You know what I mean? Mm. So adding the flavored seltzer kind of perfumes that, it kind of masks that cloyingly strong vinegary smell that you often smell in your kitchen when you make salad dressing. And I personally don't want to necessarily be drinking salad dressing. That's just my association with vinegar. Yours might be completely different, but it's not horrendous. It definitely doesn't taste like Coke. It tastes like a more acidic version of this grapefruit flavor that I happen to be drinking. And since this is citrus, and I associate kind of sour notes with citrus, I think it actually works pretty well with the vinegar. Let's try it with black raspberry. Maybe having it with this will make it taste more Coke-like. Splash of vinegar. 
bloop, that smells like a eraser or a strawberry shortcake friend. Tastes like one too. Ooh, it's like vanilla. Not, not a fan. Okay, but let's try it like this. Maybe the vinegar will do something. Cheers. Still doesn't taste like Coke, but the vinegar does improve this a lot. Kind of waters down the kind of perfume that I smell and taste of the black raspberry. It's not bad. Very refreshing. And as just a beverage on its own, I don't mind it at all. I quite like it. It does taste artificial. I think that's my biggest beef with these flavored seltzers is that the flavor tastes artificial to me. Nothing against artificial flavors. Like them in the right context, but when I drink fizzy, I just want fizzy water. I love the carbonation of the water. I like the gas in my water. And if I want flavor, sometimes we'll squeeze a lime or a lemon or something like that. But most of the time, I'm just like a straight up fizzy girl. I just like the effervescence, you know? But I'm not giving up on this experiment. Let's try this. This is a reduction of balsamic vinegar. It's like a syrup, so more concentrated. Maybe this will give us more of those caramelly, syrupy notes that we're thinking of when we think of Coca-Cola. Some of this syrup in there. Ooh, looks like chocolate syrup, but it's not. It's vinegar. Okay, this is definitely not mixing as well. That's not looking too attractive. That looks like a, a deposit that you might find in the uh, toilette. We have chunks. Mm, no, the original is better. Caramelly and not as acidic and just not very good. So let's continue with this theory that if it looks like Coke, it's gonna taste like Coke. What happens if we use some soy sauce? It's brown, a little splash of that. Ooh, it looks just like Coke. All right, let's see if it tastes like Coke. No, it tastes like soy sauce. <laughs> wow, that's pretty terrible, my gosh. Very salty, the soy sauce definitely overpowers anything. It does not taste like Coke. This is molasses, it's brown. This is syrupy. Because we can use any soda we want, let's add some grapefruit and the rest of our berry. Mm -hmm. Similar to the balsamic reduction, is not mixing well. Nope, it's like a ball of tar at the bottom of my glass. Let's give it a taste, here we go. Mm. No, nope, definitely doesn't taste like Coke. It tastes like a strange fruity blend with a very odd burnt caramel flavor. Terrible. Let's try this brown substance. And will you look at that? It smells like that familiar cola smell. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Cheers. Yeah, that's Coke. <laughs> Effervescent, fizzy, with that flavor that I can't really pinpoint. I've heard that there's a little bit of clove essential oil in that, but there's just some kind of cola mystery that makes cola. Although I think there are recipes on how to make homemade Coke, which I have not attempted. But yeah, that's it. That's it right there. All right, my lovelies. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. <laughs> Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Bye. <laughs>
so pleasurable about drinking Coke out of a glass bottle. Although this is quite high up on the list too. Ice in the glass. Uh, I don't know which one's better. It's fizzier out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. But the icy, icy coldness of this, it's hard to beat. All right, let's 